Hi everybody, Robin here, back again with more news. Volkswagen recently revealed the third generation 2025 Tiguan, its mainstream compact crossover SUV. The basic shape looks like a 7.8 scale Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport, but the Tiguan definitely follows the trend of moving the grille down low and mounting slimmer, more sinister looking headlights. Optional on the Tiguan will be a front light bar, a full width LED beam of light that's broken only by the VW badge in the center, which is also illuminated. Looking at the Tiguan in profile, keen eyes will notice a longer wheelbase and shorter rear overhang. Though Volkswagen did not yet state how much longer than the outgoing generation's 109.9 inch wheelbase. The base Tiguans get 17 inch wheels, but Volkswagen will offer up to 20s on the third generation Tiguan. To round things out and back, Volkswagen added another light bar at the rear and an interesting rear grille kind of look down low, which is actually the bumper. Inside, several new screens adorn the interior. Standard equipment includes a 10.3 inch digital instrument cluster and a 12.9 inch center display. Those systems include wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and a wireless smartphone charger as well. If you go with a high-end trim Tiguan, you instead get a 15 inch center display, a head-up display, ambient lighting, and listen to a 12 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. Top level Tiguans also include leather seats, ventilated and massaging front seats, heated rear seats, except for the middle passenger, a heated steering wheel, three zone climate control, and an easy open close tailgate. Volkswagen did not explicitly say so, but I bet heated front seats come standard just as they did in 2024 models. Built from a new platform, this new Tiguan tips the scales 170 fewer pounds than the outgoing model thanks to liberal use of high strength steel and aluminum suspension parts. This weight loss will very likely improve both fuel economy and performance. Under the hood, Volkswagen carried on with the turbocharged 2 liter inline four cylinder power plant, but tweaked it to increase peak horsepower from 184 to 201. Volkswagen did not reveal anything about peak torque, so I assume that that number holds steady at 221 pound feet. I also assume that you will still get an eight speed automatic transmission and choose between front or all wheel drive propulsion. Volkswagen has kept mum on many of the details of the Tiguan. For example, we do not yet know final fuel economy numbers. We also don't know when to expect the Tiguan to arrive at dealers or how much it will cost. But considering the $28,800 base price for a 2024 Tiguan S, and that's before destination charges, taxes, or anything, I think a 2025 Tiguan will definitely start with a three. It's also a massive styling improvement with several luxuries offered inside if you go with one of the top trims. I am definitely intrigued and quite interested to get the chance to drive one soon and as soon as I do, I will definitely share. I'm Robin Warner. Thank you very much for watching.